Hello everyone, Father Lamb here, and it's Wednesday, July 17th. I'm here at BVM, uh, second floor of the rectory, and uh, last weekend was our first weekend at Queenship going over to the gym. I wanna thank you for your uh, cooperation and understanding, calling it our church nasium. <laughs> and uh, you know, very lucky that we have a place to have mass until you know we, we finish with all the uh, you know, different renovations. Um, the whole reason, you know, our Lord came on this earth was is to uh, forgive us of our sins and lead us into heaven. And so his main message, of course, was repent, you know, repent and believe the good news. John the Baptist even said that uh, before Jesus came on the scene. And so that word repentance, as, as you may know, um, literally means to go beyond the mind that you have. It's really about changing our thinking. Repentance is more than just, I'm going to tell my sins and then get grace and move on. It, that's part of it for sure. But it's all about changing our thinking, thinking differently, thinking with the mind of Christ. And this is important, I think, especially in our culture today, because we, we can get addicted to our thinking. We think our thinking is the best thinking. And how's that working, uh, especially in, in our country? You know, with so much has happened this past week, we, we really need God in our country. We really need uh, in our world, too, and in our own hearts um, with what's happened with the assassination attempt, you know, against... Uh, former President Trump, and then everything that's going on with this. We, we need to pray. And everybody's saying the right things. We need to back off. We need to stop with the rhetoric and all that. But again, I'm going to say something I've said so many times, you may be sick of hearing it, but the real enemy isn't conservative or liberal or, or Trump or Biden or, or whoever we'd like to put the target at. The, the, real, the real evil one is the devil. And um, I don't know about you, but I think when we were raised, it was more like the devil is sort of like a mythical figure, you know, where Evil was real. We all knew that. But the devil is sort of a way to sort of explain it. But do we really believe in the devil, believe in you know, the personification of evil? And I said this many times, too, but just to put it in context, you know, that in the scriptures are two words for the devil. Uh, it's the same entity, the same person being, if you will, but acting in two different ways. And that is, of course, uh, Diabolus, uh, which means to divide, and adversary, uh, which means to sort of to one who blames. So that's where we see the devil in our lives and in our culture. It's always about dividing and blaming and accusing. That's what it's all about. And if you look at our country, that's what we're filled with. So, you know, we might be hopeful. Maybe some things will change since the incident with, you know, the assassination attempt and all this. And But in the end, you think until we change our thinking, our country is not going to change. Until we realize the real enemy is the evil one, and well, our change that needs to happen in us is we need to go to prayer and go to God. Until we do that, nothing's going to change. People talk about you know gun laws and all of this and that and the other thing, and we'll be back at it again fighting each other. It's crazy. And there seems to be no hope for any of this. But our hope is in Jesus Christ, in a person. Our hope is that he is the one that can lead us to salvation, but we have to turn to him. And that's why prayer is so important. So if you find yourself like me, you know, watching some of this stuff on television and, and sometimes, you know, wondering like what the truth is, that really is the deepest question. You know, the deepest question is what's the truth? The devil is the father of lies. That's why we have so much fake news and the evil ones over on their side laughing as, you know, we're fighting each other right against left, conservative, against liberal and so on. And it's, it's really uh, disedifying to say the least. So here's the thing. When you find yourself watching TV and we want to be informed, I'm not saying put our head in the sand. When you find yourself getting upset over what people are saying or doing in our country, turn the TV off. Get out your rosary. Get out your prayer book. Get down on your knees. Offer up the struggles of your life for our country and for other people. You know, work toward uh, unity and lack of, and stop the blaming in our own relationships because we stay sort of in that same framework of the devil when you and I do that. And if we're not doing it on a national level or, you know, an international level, we can do it in our own families. How cool would it be at one of the picnics that you have as a family and someone brings up some politics, you know how the argument can happen, or people don't even touch it because they don't want the argument to happen, you know, how cool would it be to say to the family, you know, why don't we just stop and say Hail Mary together to, as a family, you know? as you're putting the mustard on your hot dog, let's say a little prayer, you know? And, and we don't do that all the time and we wonder why our country's not changing. Until you and I change in our heart, our country's not gonna change. If we want peace out there in the world, in our country, we want peace in our families, we gotta start with peace in our own heart. 
And peace comes from a person, Jesus Christ. And so when the craziness of the world bothers us, we have to go back into our hearts and we have to get right with Christ ourselves. We got to let go of the evil one's doings of trying to grab us in any different way that brings us into any kind of sin. And we need to change our thinking. Go beyond the mind that you have. Be willing to change your own thinking. Maybe my thinking isn't correct, but God's thinking is. And St. Paul would say, you know, we need the renewal of our mind, not just repentance and saying our sins, do that. But I need to change the way that I think. I need a renewal in my mind, and only that comes from God. So just stop whatever you're doing now as this video is over, and just say a little prayer and say, Jesus, help me to see reality as you see it. Help me to uh, follow your thinking, my mind be renewed, that I may go beyond my own thinking, go beyond the mind that I have. That's true repentance. God bless you.